Hi, Mike. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video uh, of the house while the inspector is inspecting. Um, I already took some photos of the back. I'll get those in an email over to you um, when I get back this evening. And, and uh, of course, there'll be a, the link for this video in the email as well. Um, so uh, the, the seller's contractor is still doing a little bit of work. Um, so that's why like this light switch is open. Uh, he's installed a new garage door opener. Um, done quite a bit of work in here. Uh, and this guy, I, I had talked to the kids about it. I don't know if, um, if they shared this with you. Uh, but I've done quite a bit of work with this realtor. And he, the client or the seller on this home, is somebody who owns quite a few rentals around town. Um, he is slowly going through uh, with his contractor who's in that white van over there and remodeling them and uh, and selling them. And so he's basically going through the house and making it uh, like brand new. Um, so I mean, for example, we've got new siding, a new roof up top. Um, and I did ask him about the roof. I had mentioned or, or talked about that. I guess maybe it was with the kids. Um, and it was put on last month. I didn't know if it was put on this year or last year, but um, it was put on last month. So anyhow, uh, new flooring, you know, new sheetrock, pretty much new everything. Um, did not replace the kitchen cabinets, but they're in, in good condition, so. And like I say, I did, I took three or four photos from the back fence looking at the house uh, for the insurance guy. But it sure is a real clean, real nice house. Um, and, and compared to, I mean, this is the nicest house that we looked at last week. Uh, and I am just, I'm kind of thrilled that, that we found it and that we got it. Um, I've had such a struggle this spring. And uh, this is Sean, our inspector. Um, We've had such a struggle this spring selling houses uh, because we've got such a limited supply. Um, I, I can't remember if I told you or not, a young couple I've been working with that have offered on eight or nine or even 10 houses in the last couple of months. And they finally uh, kind of did what you did and, and they finally got a place, but they went uh, $25,000 above the buyer's asking or the seller's asking price. Um, which was pretty crazy, but young military couple, um, he thinks that when we relax this Corona thing a little bit, that he's going to be deployed. Um, and they just, he just really wants to get his family out of the apartment they're renting and into a house before he gets sent overseas. So I can understand, but So very, very nice, very clean house. And I think I'm gonna go back out through the garage and I'll walk around outside again. So. And this is all, what they did here was just redid the yard completely and put down sod. And it's coming in really, really nicely. Um, and they will keep it cut till closing. And after closing, we'll have to get it cut. And uh, they're rebuilding this portion of the fence here and putting in a new gate. Um, anyway, this has turned into one of my bugaboos, if you will, this spring, is finding people to cut grass. Um, I have several houses sitting empty with people that purchased and then the military stopped them from moving. Uh, and so their houses are sitting here empty and the grass is growing and I can't find anybody to cut grass, but I know what you're saying. If that's the worst of my problems, I don't really have it too bad and you're right. So, uh, I just, I'm not seeing anything to be critical of here. It is a really nice place. So. Um, I uh, am sure I will talk with you soon 
Uh, I'll upload this video and those photos to you when I get back to the office this evening. The inspector's report will come out by email tomorrow morning. Um, he usually sends it real, real early in the morning, our time. Uh, if you want to go through and, and take notes, um, I will do the same. And then at some point we can get on the phone and, and kind of discuss things. Um, as I said in my email, it's kind of accepted that the, uh, the number one and two issues that we're looking for here is structural and then the systems within the structure. So the, the structure itself, the foundation, that sort of thing. And then the systems would be the roof, the pipes, uh, the plumbing, the electricity, that sort of thing. Um, and then lastly is cosmetic. And I don't think we're going to find any cosmetic issues at all here. Um, and of course with this cellar, if we do find anything, um, and it's reasonable, then, then he will fix it. Uh, no questions asked. If we come in and start asking him to change colors on the house and things, uh, he's probably not going to want to do that. One thing I am seeing right now that the inspector is probably going to make note of is we do have some issue right down here at the bottom of this siding and it's not failed and that's why they haven't replaced it but uh it does need to have some paint down along that bottom edge uh to protect it um so that may be we'll see what he says on his report that may be something that we ask him to come back and and uh just clean up that bottom edge um of course, they re, they've repainted the wall, but they didn't come along underneath there. So. Anyhow, um, things are looking good. I will get this over to you. And um, I think that's it. I tend to talk a lot and forget what I said. But uh, I hope you're having a good day, and I will talk to you soon.